So this one, 828, is not correct. This one, 829, is correct. So No, the reverse, sorry. This one is a storable product, and because of that, that's why you have your on hand and forecasted, and in sales, why you have um, out of stock messages. If you look at this one, this one is set up as a consumable product. You're not going to see rules here, and you're not going to see the smart buttons for inventory. But the idea of consumable is this would be for like shop supplies. Um, like packing tape, stuff like that would go into consumable. So you can't change this. If you try to change this to a storable product, it's going to give you that error because it's already been used in sales orders. And even if you cleared that up, then it's going to say it's already has shipping receipts against it probably. So don't bother with that. I'm just going to cancel. Uh, so what I would do is duplicate it and then if you're finished with all of the sales orders that are related to it, like if all of the billing is done and stuff, uh, then archive it. You can always unarchive, so it's not a big deal. If you archive it and then you need it again, it won't allow you to delete it for the same reason there's records against it. So let's see how to fix this. I'm just in the sandbox right now, so you'll have to follow this on your live version there. So what I would do is I would duplicate this and then I would change the product type after duplicating. And then I would just move forward from there. So let's do that. Let's duplicate it. And we should be on the duplicate copy now. We are. And I'm going to actually go back to the other one. So I'm just going to go browser back. And now we're on the regular one. And I'm just going to put deprecated. Well, let's do this. Do it this way. Deprecated. And in here, I'm going to put internal notes. consumable. Oops, shoot. As uh, storable. So I'm actually going to put this not just in internal notes, but I'm going to set it up as a warning or a block. So Greg, you might remember doing this. So we don't want anybody to purchase this one again accidentally as well. So we'll go into, as long as it's not archived. Once you archive it, it won't be available anyway. But for now, we can put this warning in, and it'll be a blocking message when you're trying to put it on the purchase order. And I'll just put that same message in there. And if anybody tries to sell them, I'll also put that same message in here. <clears throat> I'm just going to put a warning for this in case you still need to sell this for some reason. You might want to update the name though if it's going to end up on an invoice. Okay, so there's our deprecated one. Now we're going to go back to 405829 again, the copy. We will rename this one just like that and we'll set it up as a storable product and save it. And now you've got your on hand and forecasted there and you should be able to straighten that out. So to look at this again you've got this deprecated one now and you've got this one and if you were to try to sell this let's try to sell it.
four, five, eight to two, nine. So here's a deprecated one. See? You get that warning. I didn't put it as a block though, so you could still sell it if you want, but if you try to purchase it, it won't even let you purchase it. So we would trash that and then you'd go find the other one, which showed up anyway. Right? They're both here. 